Hi, Jody here from Healing Journey. And today I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about the difference between the approach I take with healing and the conventional medicine approach. So the approach I take is something called functional medicine. And when I tell people, hey, I do functional medicine, most people are like, what the heck is that? Um, so it's a new term, relatively new. It's starting to become more mainstream, which is super exciting. And I really love everything about this approach. So before I dive into what functional medicine is, I want to talk a little bit more about conventional ways of healing. So when you go to your doctor, typically what they're going to do is they're going to diagnose disease and they're going to look at your symptoms. So success is considered if you've eliminated the symptoms. So if you come in with a headache and you medicate the symptoms and the headache is gone, then it's considered to be successful. Um, and that's a little bit of a problem because the doctors aren't necessarily asking why you have a headache. Um, and there can be many different causes for a headache. And so although the pain of the headache is going to be gone with something like Tylenol, for example, um, you're not necessarily going to be addressing the root cause of the headache. And so oftentimes the body is going to try and adapt in a different way to whatever was causing the headache in the first place. Um, and so I like to think of this as a bit of a whack-a-mole scenario. So if you remember the fairs that used to go to with those moles popping up everywhere and you have that big hammer and you're trying to hit the moles as they pop up, um, it's a bit of a whack-a-mole scenario when you're dealing with symptoms. So you're not actually finding the mole, you're just whacking them over the head and giving them a chance to come up somewhere else. So this is why conventional medicine has actually been quite unsuccessful in eradicating um, and really managing health issues for lots of different individuals. Um, and so when we look at functional medicine, it's a little bit different because functional medicine focuses on getting to the root cause. So if you have um, acne, for example, um, let's not just put on um, topical cream, but let's ask why your body has acne. So, for example, a lot of people have acne because they have gut issues and food is getting through the lining of the gut, which is causing inflammation in the body, which is coming out on the skin. Another reason that people have acne is because they may not genetically or otherwise break down estrogens in a healthy pathway. And so the estrogens are building up in their body and it's causing acne. You can also get a very similar effect when you're looking at testosterone breakdown. And so when you look at functional medicine, they're going to ask, why are the symptoms occurring? So functional medicine is really good at looking at the individual as a whole. So they're gonna, we're gonna look at what your stresses are externally. So for example, are you going and getting proper and adequate rest? Do you have a supportive social environment? Um, what is your work-life balance like? So those are all things that can contribute to cortisol levels and your body's inability to manage disease and illness. Um, but the other thing that functional medicine looks at is what's going on from a hidden perspective. So what are hidden stressors that you have in your body that's creating an imbalance in your system. And once those hidden stressors are identified, the goal is to rebalance the system out. So we're gonna support the system to get back to its natural level of homeostasis, and that way your body can continue to be healthy. So there's lots of different examples of hidden stressors. Um, some can be hidden gut infections that people have. Um, some can be food intolerances, 
Heavy metals is a really great example of hidden stressors. We all have metal toxicity, and for some people it's higher than others. Another example is viruses. So this is kind of analogous to uh, having computer viruses being run in the background on your computer and slowing things down. Viruses in the human body do the exact same thing. Another hidden stressor is going to be... Um, copper toxicity. So that's a whole other Facebook Live, um, but that's definitely something that's going to be at play and impacting the body's ability to heal. So essentially at functional medicine, what we want to do is we want to look at the different ways in which the body's being prevented from healing, whether it's internal or external, and open those pathways up to create as much potential for healing as possible. One of the ways that we look at what's going on inside the body is using functional lab testing. And so functional lab testing is actually very, very different um, than standard lab tests because standard lab tests are going to look for disease. So they're set up in terms of their ranges of what's healthy and what's unhealthy to be a disease marker. And that's a bit of a problem because the body just doesn't go overnight from a state of health to a state of disease. There is a trajectory. Here might be health and here is disease and you might be in this kind of gray area that conventional medicine doesn't recognize and blood tests aren't going to recognize. So you're not necessarily healthy if you're right here. You're bordering on an illness of some sort um, but conventional medicine won't necessarily recognize it until you magically hit disease. Um, so when you look at functional medicine, the lab testing that we use and the ranges that we use is going to look at what is optimal for the body and not necessarily what's a marker of disease. So that is huge. We're also going to look at the function of it. So when, for example, when you look at gut testing in the conventional medicine system, gut testing looks at do you have a parasite or do you not have a parasite? When you look at some of the gut testing that I run, it's also looking at how is your intestines and your digestive system functioning? Is your immune system in your digestive tract working? What's your CIGA levels like? Is it inflamed? How are your enzymatic activity? Are you responding to gluten? So not only are we looking at you know, what is um, living in your gut that shouldn't be there and what are bacterial imbalances, but we want to know how is the gut functioning as a whole. So we're looking at more of the function instead of just trying to figure out what the disease is. Um, so that is a little bit about a functional medicine approach. Um, we also want to look at mind and body connection. So often we separate the two. Um, and so that's actually like a whole other Facebook Live looking at the connection between the mind and body. But basically, in functional medicine, we don't isolate anything and we look at the person as a whole with uh, laboratory testing and research being a key informant to how we're addressing you as a person. If you have any questions, please feel free to write them in the comments below. Thanks for joining me today.